Hey guys, today let's take a look at this smart cover. This is supposed to be an e-ink uh, display inside of an iPhone cover or back cover. I got this from AliExpress for around 25 euros shipped. And the goal today is to just take a look at it and maybe inside it and see how it works and just see what microcontroller it uses and such. I do not own any iPhone, I just got it to play around with it as usual. So let's open it up. As we can see, we have another package here and it looks like this is it already. So this seems to be just for protection and the important part is inside of this. Let's put the rest to the side and yeah, this should be a 2.7 inch display and it has three colors, so white, black and red and it should be um, controlled via NFC by the iPhone and from the pictures I saw that you need to hold the iPhone onto it to change the image, so it's not even like you can place the phone inside, run the app and change the image. This would also make it hard to use NFC for something else while the case is on. In general, this does not even look too bad. I will not bend it too much here because then the e-paper display will break easily. I cannot feel any big part where the PCB is. Uh, but here at the top, I think there is an antenna visible, at least barely. And overall, it does not look bad. So if I would have an iPhone, I would actually wear it, I guess, or put it on. But let's try to <clears throat> open it up. And yeah, here we can see a little bit of the PCB already. Let's just hope to not break the display itself. That would be the worst case. And yeah, I can see a little bit of PCB and a bit of like NFC parts. The driver I see. Not so sure how much you can see it. But it's the right direction. That's also why we could not feel anything here. As at this position really is just the display and everything related to driving it is at the top. So in theory, if we just pull up this, what is this, milk colored thing, the display it shell itself should be left on it. And yeah. If I see it right, the display might be already broken. <laughs> Let's just continue to open it up. And yeah, I guess you can see it a bit. I will just slowly continue. Not sure if you want to see all of it, but yeah. That yeah, sounds very creak creaky like, so as if the glass from the display is already gone. Let's. Yeah. Try to pull away the FBC cable from the e-paper display. I mean, if the display is really broken, we could still just connect another one to it because we have this plugged display, which is nice. And 
so we can at least play further around with the hardware and see how the NFC function is done as this would be the interesting part to see if there's the possibility of a custom app or something like that and Ah, everything sounds so bad. They did a good job on gluing it together as bad as possible. But I mean, better that way than too little glue. And normally you would not open it. Okay, we get somewhere. Just the bottom part left. And yeah, it's fully broken right in the middle. Damn it. Without <laughs> ever refreshing, but okay. Yeah, yeah, you can see it perfectly fine. Okay, so first resume is uh, that the display is not too well protected. I mean, it broke even while I did not move the the glass up quite a lot. Yeah, but okay. At least that is known then. So let's take a look at the PCB that's inside of it. This is also glued in quite well. And Let's use the tweezer to get it a bit out. And looking at it from here right now, we can see it's just um, one, one main SOC, as it seems. So we have here this Fudan chip. We have the driver circuit for the e-paper voltage pump and normally you would only have one MOSFET for this as here are four now it could be either that it is for the power harvesting of the chip as we need to get power from the NFC to drive everything which yeah this looks like so it's very likely that yeah the E-paper um, driver is this part here. We have an LEDs also. But other than that, we just have this Fudan chip. Let's maybe take a, another closer look. It's this FMSC341JOG or 0G. And I know that Fudan is quite closed in their publication of such microcontrollers or chips as far as I know there is none publicly known of those um, and I played with one similar around a while ago and was able to write a custom app for it to drive the display but I was not able to ex extract the firmware itself just some random bytes by sending some strange NFC commands and sniffing the SBI data on the e-paper display to understand what is happening. And there were also, it was sending some garbage out. If the memory address from the image you would send to the display was quite off, it looked a bit like firmware data, but it, it was not. So unfortunately right now, this is still quite unknown what, what even the uh, core inside of this microcontroller is and as you can see in my in one of my other videos I looked at the um, other NFC e-paper displays where I was able to reverse engineer the complete microcontroller and write a custom firmware for it since they also had the debug pin header named on their PCB or, or on some but 
here maybe it's even OTP and it's really a dedicated chip just for this um, yeah e-paper driving NFC task okay let's zoom out a bit and yeah I mean since the glass did broke now and I do not have an iPhone to test it at all we are quite lost here right now and since I played around with the ch chip already a while ago um, it makes no sense to look further right now but maybe in the future there will be more I hope you still liked it just to see how they made it it seems that this um, area is like um, at least the the tool for it was CNC'd out and you can also see how thin this part where the PCB lays is so overall it's really not so stiff but if you have it on your phone then it usually should be hard enough to not break that easily uh, I mean if you if your phone falls down the glass at the front can break as well so yeah it's not like uh, too bad but, okay that's it have a great day